Hi everybody. So this vehicle is a 2000 model year uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ. And uh, this is actually one of the oddballs uh, that has a four cylinder engine uh, and it's a two door that's four wheel drive and five speed manual trans. So uh, not too many of these were made. Uh, but anyway, uh, this vehicle was brought in with a AC complaint uh, not blowing as cool as it should be and uh, just a real quick uh, overview uh, it looks like it's probably low on refrigerant um, but before I do any service work on a vehicle like this uh, before I connect it to any of my AC equipment uh, the first thing that I always do is identify the refrigerant that's in the system uh, especially with a vehicle this old uh, it's about uh, 19 years old now I uh, don't know where it's been, who's worked on it, uh, what repair attempts may have been made in the past. So before I connect this to my uh, AC machine, I am going to identify it. And in order to do that, I need to use a tool like this. Uh, this is uh, Neutronics uh, Refrigerant Analyzer. And this tool is going to uh, basically uh, test the refrigerant that's in the system uh, and tell me what it is and what contaminants might be in there. Uh, so it's kind of easy to use, sort of turn it on, it does a little warm up um, and then it will uh, take a sample reading of the refrigerant. Uh, so I'll show you real quick how this, how this is done. When you turn the power on it just says Neutronics. Hit OK. And then it does this little warm up. So I'll set this down. Watch out for the hose. Uh, and while it's doing the warm up, take off the low side service port cap because that's where we connect uh, our little adapter fitting here. You have to connect this to the low side to do this test. Uh, while this is doing warm up, this is a good time to inspect. Uh, the low side service port cap. Uh, basically what you do is you look down inside there and make sure that the o-ring it's uh, seated all the way at the bottom of the cap or I guess actually all the way at the top in this case. Uh, just make sure it's in there, it's not damaged uh, not contaminated, no dirt and debris. This one looks pretty good. So set that aside and when it's done warming up it says select refrigerant. So uh, this identifier can work with both the, you know, standard regular R134A, uh, but it's also good for 1234YF, which is the new refrigerant uh, we've been seeing on vehicles uh, since about 2013. Uh, so I'm going to pick 134A because that's what I suspect is in here. Uh, and then the next step, I have to do a little calibration. So basically, do what the screen says, connect the hose to the device which I've already done and press calibrate. Uh, it says on the screen calibrating this will only take 30 seconds so you just set this down in a good spot. Uh, here's actually one good thing to note if you have one of these analyzers um, this, this filter here needs to be replaced uh, periodically and it tells you right here uh, you replace the filter when the white part of the filter starts to uh, turn red. Uh, basically they start to show little spots on the outside. So if you start seeing red spots on there it's time to get a new filter. Uh, so at this point it's ready. Uh, I'm just going to take my low side service fitting. It's a quick disconnect coupler uh, just like regular AC service fittings. Lift it up, press it down on the low side, make sure it clicks so it's locked on, and then open the valve. Once that's open, press OK. Uh, this takes a little bit longer, so testing R134A sample, this will only take 60 seconds. So I basically just set the tool down. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is a good time to just look over the rest of the system uh, while I'm waiting for that one minute. Uh, look for any obvious leak signs. Maybe there's some corrosion. 
Uh, maybe there'd be some oil or, uh, you know, dirt gathering up around some of the fittings. And I could also check the high side cap, take a look down inside there. Looks like we've got a little bit of oil showing. So that could be an issue. Uh, it does look like there's an O-ring in there, but that might be smushed. You know, check the belts, check the hoses, look around while you're waiting. There's really not a whole lot else to do. Uh, but, here we go. So, let's sort of turn this. Uh, and basically what the readout uh, says here is uh, it tells you what contaminants might be in the system or basically what the composition of the refrigerant is. Uh, so in this case, uh, we've got R134A 100%. So the refrigerant's not mixed with anything else. Uh, sometimes you might, uh, you know, guys will try to uh, say if they don't have R134A, they might have an old can of 12 laying around they'll try and charge it with. Um, some guys in the commercial industry uh, that have R22, they might charge with that. Uh, and then some of the other popular contaminants, um, HCs are hydrocarbons, so if someone tries using propane, uh, which is a big no-no. Uh, and then unknowns, so any other junk. Um, air, uh, this one shows that there's a 2% air concentration mixed in with the refrigerant. Um, I actually see quite a few vehicles come in that have air uh, in the system. Uh, it's really not a huge deal, uh, especially here it says air is 2%. Um, you know, if it was a lot higher than that, I'd be concerned. But uh, 2%, uh, you know, it's going to give a slight performance issue. But, uh, you know, usually when you have a lot of air, you'll see your high side pressures go way too high. Uh, in the case of this vehicle, it's short cycling the clutch, so I, I pretty much know the refrigerant's low. Um, but at least with this, I know I've got 100% R134A in there. It's not mixed with any junk other than a little bit of air, which my recycling machine will clean out. So I'm good to go. Uh, in this case, um, you know, for the customer, I'm just going to print so that I have a record uh, of the identifying transaction. I can attach it to the service order. Um, you know, and then I have proof of what I did you know, for the customer when I give him the bill. But uh, for this to end. Okay, I can take that off. I'll show you what it says. Uh, basically just the name of the tool, what I tested for, uh, and then what it found. So that'll go with the work order. Uh, and then when I'm done, turn it off. So now I can close this valve. You know, just kind of your standard. Unplug that. And always make sure you put the cap back on uh, because that is the primary seal for the port. Don't want to waste any refrigerant and have it leak out. So. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.